but we just heard Mike, you know, the seas are going to be over these walls when this storm hits already. They've certainly left their mark over the years and town officials are hoping people won't be staying around this area at the height of the storm. It's the kind of day you want to go out and walk the dog, knowing two days from now it won't be. I don't overfill my freezer in case I lose power. And I live far enough away from the water that unless it's a storm of biblical proportions, I'm going to be OK, but for maybe loss of power. Patrice McGinnis knows her nor'easters most recently October when she lost electricity for three days. But that was without the cold and snow to contend with. Before this storm hits, she knows she'll need the essentials. A couple days prior, I make sure I have cash, gas, water, and wine. Right now, we're worried about the time and the track. And so public works officials are filling up more than 200 sandbags. And town leaders are also hoping people who live down by the water will consider evacuating this weekend before that water fills the streets. We've done a pretty good job in the last, say, since 2015 of really expressing to people when we say evacuate, they listen. We don't say it all the time. We only say what's really needed. Meanwhile, on this day for walking dogs, even with 48 hours to go, the right mindset means being ready. Be smart about it. Make sure my phone is charged, my, uh, my laptops are charged. But otherwise, you know, I sort of give it up to the universe. And we love storms around here.